Hey YouTube, I just wanted to say hi to everybody and talk about a little bit about my HIV. Everybody's been asking me some questions and I just wanted to answer some. Um, as far as how I got HIV, so a pretty long story. Um, if you have any questions for me, you can leave a questions in the comment box and I will get back with you on the questions. A long time ago, uh, I had a friend, we had went to elementary school and we went to middle school together and high school together and we had always promised that when we got older we would uh, get an apartment together and you know we'd be best friends till the end and uh, we moved in together after high school and you know she had a kid and I had a kid and everything was going great and uh, you know of course we were really young and we didn't know what we were doing we lost our apartment we were homeless together and I met a guy and you know he had a place to stay and she met a guy and so she went to move with him and I went to move with my guy and for some reason her guy ended up putting her out and uh, she had nowhere to go so me and my guy let her move in and so she moved in with us and uh, everything was going great I was in uh, beauty college I was going to school for hair nails and makeup you know do my little hair thing and I thought I was really cute um, uh, one day I started coming home from school on my lunch break and would find the door was unlocked I mean it was locked and uh, from the inside by the time they would get to the door um, They would both be in their separate rooms and naked so you know I try not to pay too much attention to it and um, I found out you know that he was kicking me out and he was letting my friend move in and uh, she was uh, taking my place basically and my best friend of all those years so to this day I have no friends or do I trust females because uh, females are pretty scandalous these days um, the only friend I have is my mother but to get back to the story um, about how I contracted it um, so I moved out and um, went on about my life you know tried to forget that you know my friend did you just do that to me and um, I went back to college you know just kept going on with my life and I got sick one day and my my uh, instructor told me that she needed me to go home because I looked yellow and I had a friend tell me you know maybe you're pregnant and I was like no I can't be pregnant I use condoms all the time there's no way I can be pregnant and he was like well I'm gonna give you a pregnancy test just in case maybe you should just take it I was like there's no way I'm pregnant um, I use protection I've always used protection even though he was my boyfriend I still use protection because I always had a feeling he was sleeping around with my best friend and she was she was sleep with anything that walked <clears throat> so I took the pregnancy test and found out that yes I was pregnant and um, um, about a week later I got a call from the hospital saying that you know because I couldn't hold anything down I was thrown up all the time you know I was sick I wasn't holding food down I was like well maybe it's not just being pregnant I'm something's going on cuz I'm really sick I shouldn't be the sick I I've been pregnant before you know and um, so about a week later yeah they called me and they was like um, you need to come in and we need to have a talk with you and you have a uh, chlamydia and I was like okay oh and by the way you're pregnant and I was like oh great I don't know how that could have happened but okay so I just kind of kept it to myself when um, I went to my OBGYN, you know, they did a sonogram on me because I had a wreck and they thought that maybe the babies were hurt or the baby was hurt. And um, I thought they were calling me to tell me to come in to tell me about my sonogram that maybe I was having twins. I was really excited. I got real cute and put a whole bunch of makeup on and went to my OBGYN and, you know, and I got there and they told me, uh, you have HIV. And I was pregnant so you know of course by the time I left the place so my makeup was all over the place and I was in tears and I couldn't understand how it could happen and <clears throat> a few days later I got a call from you know this best friend of mine and she was like uh, oh hey hey bitch how's everything going and I was like uh, fine she was like you know I took your man bitch and this and this and that and um, by the way you probably have AIDS. I was like, what are you talking about? She was like, yeah, you're probably going to get pregnant too. And you know how fat and ugly you get when you're pregnant. So he ain't going to want you. I was like, there's no way I can get pregnant. 
I use protection. She was like, oh, I poked holes in the condom, so you're going to have AIDS now. So that's how I have AIDS or HIV. <clears throat> and I'm going on it for 16 years now. So, you know, it's been a hard struggle and it's been a long ride. And uh, I've learned who are my true friends now and who are not. And I really don't have any friends that I can trust these days. And I learned to turn all my attention to God and <clears throat> give my faith in Him. And I've done a lot with my life. I've gone to China and I went to college. And I can say that just because I have HIV that has not stopped me, it's only made me stronger. And um, you can live your life with HIV. And yeah, it's going to be hard, but I don't suggest anybody go out there having unprotected sex or nothing to get HIV because it's not a fun thing. And, um, you know, just be out there, protect yourself. and. Love yourself, you know, because people out there don't care about you. You got to care about yourself first. That's all I have to say about that. And if you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment box and I'll get back with you. Have a good day. Like and subscribe.